afternoon, Damo Jaws. Just heading down to the beach for a few minutes to have a, a little coffee or something. I can't see the screen at the moment. Yeah, it'll be it'll be okay when I get down to the beach in a minute. It's a wobbly screen because I'm on, I haven't got no stabilizer on this one. Right, let's get across quickly. I can't really read the screen at the moment, so I'm gonna hurry up and get down the front. It's beautiful. 21 in the shade at minimum. Well, we'll see a temperature gauge down here in a minute. That will probably give us a bit more of a idea. It's very warm today. Sunbathing weather. I've always said Christmas Day is always good. Bit of sunshine, sunbathing, suntan, even get sunburnt today. 24 on the sign there. There we go. It says 24. And it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so it's probably not going to get no hotter. But I think you can all put up a 24, does it say there? Let me almost take this off. Yeah, where's the two? There it is. I can't see the screen very well. No, it's 24 degrees. Can't be bad. Right, I'm gonna... Oh, for fuck's sake. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna go and spy on the beach now. I hope you're down there and I'll spot you. What on earth is wrong with you? What have I done to upset you? Tell me. What have I done to you? Explain. Or what have I not done for you? Is that what it is? Is that something I've not given you? I think I know who you are now. Here are look, spying on people swimming in the sea. Right, I'm going to find a nice somewhere to sit down and have a coffee. Temperature 24, it says on the sign there. Right, I'm going to have to go somewhere different because. Uh, can't go there. I'm going to have to find somewhere safe to sit down. You're only making a fool of yourself, whoever's saying things like that, so... Hi there. Coming on Tuesday, can't wait. Well, there's forecast for this for the foreseeable future. Let's uh, find a cafe up here a minute. All right, let's go up here a bit. There's loads of people here, so. Um, let's go up here a little bit more. Hi there, I'll, I'll, I'll try and catch up with the chat in a minute. Because I'm just uh, trying to find somewhere to sit down and have a coffee, if I can. The beach, as you can see, is uh, it's it's beach weather today. Look, look at this. Look at this. It's 24 degrees. I mean, it's not going to change much in the next couple of weeks, to be honest. Well, you know, we it's not a drastic change. You're not going to expect much more of a change in this. Hot and sunny during the day and cool at night. That's basically the forecast You're coming on the 6th of February. Might be a bit colder at night by then, and maybe a bit chillier during the day, but you'll get some lovely days like this. Right, I've got to try and find this, a table now. If I can't find a table, I'll see if I can find a seat, but it's... Look at it. It's a summer's day. 
Like I said, it's not much different to this, really. This is Benidorm, Spain. Look at it. No, you know, if, you, if this doesn't tell you what the temperature is like, it's 24 in the sun. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, it is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Is there a table there? I think there is a spare table there, actually. Let's go up here a little bit more and see if there is. Yeah, like I said, it's not going to be much different to what it is now, to be honest. This is the weather for now, and it's not going to change much. Let's go in. Here we are. We'll go in here, look. Um, let's park up here. Well, let's go and sit down in the cafe just here. Hang on, I'm catch up with all the chats in. Once I'm uh, sat down. Right, there's the beach. There's a couple of tables over there, so I don't need to. Let's just check. First, I'll scan ahead. It's absolutely amazing, yeah. 20, what, well, 24 it was showing down the, just down the other side there. 24, let's go and sit down. I'm gonna grab a seat here in the sun. Right. Let's sit here in the sun. Right. Let's see if I can read some, see if I can read some signs, some messages here. Hang on, just put my keys down. Close my bag up a minute. Oops, oh, I'll be with you in a sec. Just loads to get ready. Right, there we go. Right, where are we to now? Let's see if we can catch up with the chat. Big Mark, what happened? You met me back in August, Craig. Wonder, wait, Wondy, Wondy. Hi there, Wondy. 24 in the sun. Yeah, mucho gusto. Hang on, somebody's just sent me a message. Yep, it was showing uh, 21 in the shade. But it's 24 in the sun. Hi, Billy from Bury. Yeah, all right, I'll check me what's up in it. I think we've got somebody posing as me. By the looks of it. That's right, they want me getting a Christmas present. Because I think I know who it is. Yeah, somebody's uh, took my name, so they do know who I am, so I, I think I know who they are as well now. I think I know who my troll is, so they want me getting a Christmas present now, thanks to that. They were going to get a Christmas present, but they're not going to get it now. Simple as that. So you can blame yourself uh, if you're coming in again. Yeah, Nancy's fine. Did you sort it? Uh, what was I sorting? Name and shame. No, I'm not going to name and shame her. It's a family member, that's all I can say. Well, likes to think they're family. New Year? Well, we're not far away from New Year. 
Will you have turkey on Christmas Day? Possibly, actually, because I've booked um, some turkey breasts. I've got some turkey breasts. It's quite possible turkey up pavo, as it's called. Mucho calor. Si, venti cuatro. Dentro de sol. Or it's best to go for New Year's Eve. Well, Collier's Bar is going to be open. Collier's Bar is going to be open. I'll put my other foot. Actually, I'll... I think somebody sent me another message, so... Uh... Oops, sorry about that. Yeah. We're, we're going to be having... Um... Yeah, Dom has sorted it. Right. Yeah, we're going to be having... Uh... No, you Rosie, Rosie. Yeah, I think we'll find them. It's 24 in the sun. They only, they only. Who's that, Rebecca or Ruthie? Rebecca, I thought it was Rebecca. I couldn't see the who it was. Looking good, Lamborghini. Yeah, I, I thought I'd bring that one. I've been shopping. I've been shopping, so um, I thought I'd just quickly nip down here. I didn't think I'd get time to go shopping. It is some weather, yeah, absolutely. It's like a summer's day in Cornwall, this is. I mean, look at the amount of people. There's people in the sea as well. Look, right there. Uh, where am I? They're there somewhere. There's somebody in the sea swimming. It's beautiful. What bar am I? Am I? I'm in Collier's Bar. A good place to park, right in front. Nice, nice for you to park just there. Oops. Hang on. Oh, I've zoomed in. Right, that's why I'm shaking a bit. Looking, looking gorgeous, yeah. 24 in the sun and 21 in the shade. And it's tomorrow, it's supposed to be hotter again. Is that hidden? Helen. Hi there, Melbourne. Heavy thunderstorms. What time is it here? It's... 15.05 5 past 3 you're, you're hugging a hot water bottle oh no booking.com, skyscanner.com there's some really good deals thank you packing your bags on the way yep, it's pouring down Yeah, I'm missing a few comments, I can't see the screen very well thank you Bob Builder ice in Virginia where is it, Benidorm you wish you was here now. I know it's absolutely amazing, it is. Absolutely amazing. It's better than I expected, to be honest. Better than I expected. Yeah, I'm fine. Next, Bournemouth is beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for the cat's paws. Yeah, it's chilly at night. It went down to 15 last night. It was 15 degrees when I came out from work at uh, half past one last night. So it's quite chilly. Yeah, I start work at seven. And we got the Christmas quiz today as well. Christmas with a twist. Or the quiz is with a twist. It's going to be a big surprise. He hasn't even told us. Like Tenby. I've been to Tenby. Tenby's got two beaches, nice beaches. Oops. That must be the, the boss. He's packing stuff in and out of the beach. I'm in the Seoul Beach here. Yeah, I'm working later. I've only I've only popped down for a few minutes. Cause I've got to go back and have some tea and get ready for work. I've just been doing a bit quick bit of Christmas shopping. Last couple of presents, and uh, then I've got to go home and wrap them up. So I'll be I'll be like Eminem doing his uh, Christmas album. I'll be Christmas wrapping. I don't think I'll be singing at the same time though. 
Are you having a... Um, well, if, if I get served, yeah, there's nobody come out to ask yet. But, uh, yeah, I will be having a Fanta lemon. No, actually, I will have a coffee. Try and keep me awake. How warm is it? It's 21 in the shade, 24 in the sun. It's summer, basically. Well, I've always said that we get good weather for Christmas. You know, I've always, I've always, you know, I've always told you that we, it's, it was 23 last year in the, in the, in the sun, and it's 24 today in the sun. It's supposed to be warmer tomorrow. A bit cooler on Christmas Day, so it's going to be 23, 24. Hi, Danny. Yeah, it is ace. I'm glad the weather is not um, letting me down. I don't know about the Primavera. The Primavera Park is brand new, so it's. I've I've only heard good things about it. So yes. Hi, Joe. I'm catching up. I'm I'm gradually reading all the comments. I can't really read them all, so. But as you can see, it's an absolute amazing day. There's even people swimming in the sea today. And then we've got on 235, so. Don't forget, uh, if you want the latest news, I put stuff up on my uh, new videos up every day, putting the temperatures on every day, the exchange rate. I've done one already today. It was only 22 up at the... Um, where I took that just now, but uh, God, chat's going so quick here. I'm missing a few. I'm, I'll try and catch up. I can't see the screen at the moment. S A Q. Here, see, sí, see, sí, is in buen lugar. Muy, muy bueno lugar este es. Oh, Val is in. Bom dia, Val. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Mucho calor, Roy. Mucho calor. Oh, Nancy's on as well, is she? Hola, mi amor. Just got back from Port Levin. All right. Yeah. It's not quite so warm as this, I don't think. It's absolutely... Well, amazing, uh, absolutely, you know. Where is Nancy? She's home putting away the shopping because we we had the on online shopping come in. Well, she's probably sitting down watching the, the lottery at the moment because it's the national lottery today, the, the big, the El Gordo. I think we've won, but nothing big. The most we've won is 20 euros. How many Spanish people are... Wearing coats, all of them, I expect. Nearly all of them. I mean, it's uh, although it's 24 in the sun, they're, they're probably going to be taking them off. Probably taking them off. You never know. Maybe somebody might serve me in a minute. Fingers crossed, yeah. But yeah, it's an absolute amazing day. Under mass, what's that? Oh, the chat's going so quick here. Uh, so let's see what that says. Very beautiful. Okay, see you. Uh, enjoy your work, hopefully. <laughs> Who says that? Honey, Joe, yeah. Rocking around the Christmas tree, yeah. I was just thinking that actually. Thanks for the follow. I do go live here in, every day in Benidorm. Or virtually every day. I, I miss odd one or two when I'm on days off sometimes, but that's because I'm trying to... Uh, let's put my sun... If I put my sunglasses on, I can't see the screen at all. But... Uh, trouble is, I'm not going to get the sun on my face because I'm holding the hand up to it. These videos make your day. I'm glad of that. That's what I do them for, Holly. I had to click on your name to see it was. When does it get below 20? Well, it, it can get below 20 any time now. It's just that 
once that sun is out and the conditions are like this, we can be like this in January, in February, March, every day, every day of the year we can get it like this basically. It's just, it's just getting that, um, you know, the ideal climate. You know, we've had 28, uh, 29 degrees in January before, in the sun, not in the shade, but that's still like 23, 24 in the shade, that is, in January. It just depends, you know, if we, if we get the, the it's going to be cold at night, that's the only thing, it's going to be chilly. The coldest I've ever seen is, is four degrees at night. But you don't mind it, you know, you don't mind four degrees if it's going to be like this during the day, you know. It's, uh, it's what I came here for, it's what took me 35 years of working towards to get here. It took me 35 years to get here. What was that? Won't be long and you'll be back to drippy. Yes, I know it won't be long, drippy elbow days, yeah. Oh, thank you for that. There are people in the sea as well. Yeah, make, make sure you give us a follow, make sure you watch some of the videos as well. It'd be great if you could do that, that would help me out. Be nice to see a few more views on my videos because I do try and put up, um, you know, informative videos and you'll get to see what bedrooms like every day as well, the temperatures and the s what the weather is now. How warm, 24 in the sun, 21 in the shade. It's probably a bit more than 24 in the sun actually, but it was showing 21 in the shade and just around the corner by the um, Burger King there, it's showing 24. It was shown 27 yesterday um, in Ponienti side. I didn't, I didn't actually see the sign, but a uh, guy came in the bar with it. Yeah, amazing it is. Oh, it's December. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, that's just to remind us that it is December and it's not, uh, it's not July in Cornwall. Although the weather feels like Via Hayosa, Yeah, lots of times. Yep, I actually had a date with a young lady, a young Spanish lady on the beach in Villa Hayosa. Most expensive car park I ever paid. I paid 12 euros for park the car for for five hours. I went in the underground car park because that was the only one I could find near as a beach, and it cost me 12 euros. And it was the most weird, weirdest date I've ever been on, actually. I think I've said it to a few people. I went on this date, Monica, she was called. I'll never forget her name. And she said, oh, my favorite beach is uh, Via Hayosa. This was when I was on um, the, the dating app. I met Nancy afterwards, obviously, but she said to me, we'll, we'll meet at the beach. So I said, yeah, that's fine. So we went to the beach, this was in July. And uh, we got there and the first thing she done was to take her top off and lay there in the sun. So I, she became a Lynn almost immediately, and I thought, that doesn't normally happen on a first date. And then I've got to spend the rest of my time trying to know the, the tiny bit of Spanish using Google Translate to try and talk to a topless woman, and she wasn't small either. She was quite proud of what she had, obviously. The weirdest date ever. You would never get that in England. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Where in Cornwall am I from? St. Awful. Give her my number, yeah. Yes, yeah, so I didn't see her again, to be honest. We went to we, we went to the cafe for a bite to eat partway through our beach session. And we sat there in this cafe and uh, we, we sat on the corner and there was an aloe vera plant and next thing though, she got the knife out and she was cutting chunks of this aloe vera plant off and putting it in her handbag. So, like I said, it was a that's what made it even weirder. You know, she was pinching bits of aloe vera off the, the plants. 
You sound like a lot like your family, all right. I'm, I'm missing a few uh, comments though because I can't really see very well. I'm struggling to see in the sun. But yeah, so I don't know if I don't know if anybody else has had a weirder date than that. So uh, no, I've already checked the beach. It's okay. The li I had to come up this far because there's quite a few lins down that end. I would have I would have been at uh, Roma's cafe. There's quite a few tables spare there, but Roma's down that end. There's quite a few lins uh, sunbathing outside, so that's why I came up a bit further so that I could show you the beach. I couldn't show you the beach down there. I can from a distance because you're not going to see anything from here. So uh, used to own a bar in. Love you. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. I'm saying that. I can't see her saying it. It's so bad. Leslie. All right. I got. I clicked on your name to see it. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I'm. I'm very particular what I film now. I'm normally, that's why I miss some of the comments, it's because my, I'm looking ahead of where the camera is going, so I have to be so careful. TikTok bans me for showing um, meat, so it must have been a vegan that uh, reported me for that one. Yeah, it must have been a vegan who reported me for showing the meat in Tabas Alley. Got banned for showing meat in Tapas Alley, would you believe? The Tapas is. I put the video up that they banned me with because they, they, they stopped. They wouldn't let me see the rest of the video, but they, they gave me the bit that was banned. We stayed in Port Fiesta. All oh, right, right over the other side. Thank you very much. Who said that? Oops. User 9517, thank you. Kanye West, you're ugly. All right, that's a good name. I take it you don't like Kanye West. I worked with Siggy Vicky. All right. Well, Ben and Atlanta are going to have a chat with her tomorrow night. I've just seen Ben and Atlanta. They're up at the Sondor now, trying at the Sondor under my recommendation. So you'll, pro you'll probably see on their latest video uh, a report on the Sondor. So I don't even listen unless she flags me down. Oh. <laughs> Can't believe them banging. I know it's crazy the bands that you get, but of course TikTok's not got anybody. They haven't got no police as themselves that you know checking out. It's they just uh, rely on the trolls to report everything, and they ban all the all the good people and all the all the bad stuff that's on there. Doesn't seems to stay on. Nobody seems to ban the bad stuff. Oh, somebody else is gone. What's the temperature? Well, it was 24. But that sun is burning, honestly. It is. I mean, you look at the beach. You can see what the, the temperature is good. With the amount of people here on the beach. And the people in the sea as well. Uh, there's somebody in the sea there, like just uh, paddling at the moment but um, the sea temperature is about 17 and you can't really say it's that cold because you if you go to Algar waterfalls it's the same temperature as there you want I went on the knees board circuit all right nearly want a free breakfast if you got around yeah I've I, I I've managed to stay on a few seconds 
that's all I've stayed on when I've been on it. My beautiful lady is doing fine. She didn't. She didn't want to. She's not a sun lover. She's. She's already the colour I'm trying to get to. So, she says if I go on the beach, I'll never catch her up. So she's she's given me a chance to catch her up. Temperature now 20, 21 in the shade, twenty four on in the sun at the moment. At least twenty four. It's probably actually warmer now. I should I should get a little gauge actually. I'll have to get a little um, gauge and out and carry around with me and then just leave it here in the sun so you can all see. I'll have to have a look see if I can get one. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Me getting the same colour as Nancy, yeah. Yeah, when we go on this when we go Sunday, then Nancy's under the shade. And I'm in the sun. Time does it get dark? Um I can't remember. It's about half five, six o'clock, might be a bit later than that, but it does go dark early-ish. Am I here for Christmas? I'm here forever. I work here. I live here. Work here. Oh, oh, look at that. That was a bit of... What was that? Christmas wreath. Thank you. Yeah, I live here. I've been here seven years. Six years in Benidorm. Seven years in Spain. And it's absolutely amazing. This is the, the snail bar, the sports bar, by the way. That's where we are. Got the snail on the top, if you remember. Yep, I live and work here. Took me 35 years to get here. But I got here in the end. That was the planning. Because I knew 35 years before I came here that uh, I wanted to be in the sun. Where is it? Benidorm. That's where it is. You should know, but that island out there, look, the classic uh, Peacock Island. It's called the Bahamas. It feels like the Bahamas at the moment. Oh, it was called the Bahamas, yeah. Oh, yes, it, well, the bar was, yeah. You're doing anything nice for Christmas Day. Well, Christmas Day here isn't really a bank holiday, but I am off Christmas Day. I'll be coming down here on the beach. That's my plan. I should be. I should be in my swimming gear, and I should be sunbathing properly. At the moment, I'm not sunbathing properly. I only nipped down to the shops. I didn't. Uh, I came out. I didn't realise how warm it was. To be honest, because I'm still in me. I got trousers and bloody stuff on. I'm. I'm absolutely roasting here. Eh? How would you get to Peter Island? There, there's boat trips, but I don't think they're running at the moment. They might have some running at Christmas because there's so many people here, but uh, I don't know. But yeah, you can get a boat out. That's three miles away, apparently. My ex used to dance topless. Well, I've danced topless on the beach before. I've walked topless all along this, uh, this road here. Nobody's ever said anything. Well, it was showing 21 in the shade and 24 in the sun, but it feels a lot warmer than 24 in the sun, to be honest. The trouble is now I'm going to be freezing cold tonight at 15 degrees because of this heat now. It's going to make me feel cold tonight. So nobody's come to ask me for a drink, so I'm going to have a cheap afternoon sitting here in the sun. Talk of the coast, yeah. It's closed at the moment, talk of the coast. Or it was, I don't know if it's open. I don't think it's opening for Christmas, but some places have closed, one or two. You'll go for that, yeah. Yeah, so it's absolutely just, well. Like I said, I haven't got long down here. I just thought I'd come down and show you what it's like. I intend to be here Christmas Day, so if you're around Christmas Day, I might even go for a swim on Christmas Day. £37 return from Newquay, that's not bad. What was it? Does the 1st, 2nd, 3rd of Jan still have bars? Yeah, of course they do. There's, you, there's bars open all year round here. Benidorm is 24 7. There's just one or two of the big ones, and that uh, you can't, there's not so many people here, so 
one or two clouds like Cafe Benidorm was open last night again midweek how long have I been with Nancy? Uh, six years Nancy's the reason I came to Benidorm I was living uh, in Moriwa about three quarters of an hour away <laughs> who's that saying that Thank you, Leslie, for your help there to try and get tap the screen, bring a few more people. I don't know how many we got in. 128 have gone down a bit. You thought Benidorm was colder. Well, it can be, but it, this is this is normal. This isn't anything unusual. To be honest, this is not unusual. This is not unusual. This is very usual. It's it's. <laughs> The, the nighttime temperatures are still a little bit higher than usual, but um, yeah, just don't be caught out on luggage. Yeah, is Star and Garter? I've not seen it or Pinocchio's. I've not seen that. Pinocchio is Pinocchio. Tom Jones. Yeah, I, I, I th yeah. Tom Valentine's is still open. Chrissy Rock. Uh, Tom Jones, a few of them are still performing, and uh, Meatloaf for that, they're performing in Sinatra's premium. Uh, Sinatra's a touch of class, sorry. A touch of, uh, Sinatra's a touch of class is part of the Jokers group, and also they're, they've they closed Jokers and put, every, put everything in Sinatra's. Like I said, they, they just condense a bit. There's plenty of places open, and this is a good time of year to come because it's not too busy, you know, that you're going to be... You can have all the loads of drunk people, you know, it, having that problem. So, oh, another one's gone. Nancy is uh, okay. Yep, yeah, she's she's here watching. I think she was. She's studying like mad, like crazy. She wants to be able to talk to everybody in English. So, um, she is look really looking forward to talking to everybody in English. I might get some help now. I might get something to drink. Hello. Uh, cafe con leche, por favor? Okay, okay gracias. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get me coffee now. One more <laughs> Yep. This is a good time to be here. There last week. But Fonzie. All right, yeah. Well, it's, it's warmed up this week. This is the warmest uh, we've had for... A little while. It's it's been a bit unusual, unusually sort of dull and miserable during the day the past couple of weeks. But it, it's certainly you're from Australia. Yeah, we got Australian summer. Well, we got it is cheap to live here. Yeah. Only thing is, you've got to have all your residency papers in order to get work. You need to be in the system. That's the only thing now. But that could change next year. There is rules to change. So. But yeah, very cheap. Because the wages are low, that's what makes it. I mean, it, it depends on where you are, I suppose. You know, somebody in Vietnam or um, somewhere like that, they, they would think this is expensive. You got it. It depends on where you come from, obviously, the, the standard of living that you're in. But for the British, it is cheap. So if you're used to British wages and uh, everything, then it was it is cheap to live here compared to Britain. Benidorm. Benidorm, España. I'm from Cornwall, yep. That's where I'm from, in southwest of England. But I left there 2007. Did an Elvis show. All right. They loved it, yeah. Well, Elvis is a popular person. You're welcome. Thanks for the follow. Yep, I go live every day here in Benidorm, just about. There's only an odd day that I don't go live, but. So, it's easy, I guess, yeah.
Yeah, working later. So I work at seven. So I just thought I'd come down, have a quick coffee, and uh, get a bit of sun before I go work. I've been shopping, so. The weather is absolutely amazing, it is. People in the sea swimming as well, or paddling. Like I say, it's a bit like if you go to Guadalajara and you go swimming at Guadalajara, it's similar. It's very chilly, but uh, I think it's about six o'clock as it gets, starts to get dark. Between five and six, maybe, because I think it's dark when I go to work now. I can't remember, to be honest. I don't take any notice. 24 in the sun, 21 in the shade. And it's going to be warmer tomorrow. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. I've got to find some money as well while I'm at it. For the coffee, I expect it'll be a couple of euros at more, two and a half euros here probably. Seeing as we're on the seafront. Stick three out, it won't be if there's more than three, they can take a run and jump. But uh, the sun, yeah, yeah, I work in a bar. Valencia is quite nice, it's got an old town, it's got um, it's got everything, it's got lots of things up there. It's got that futurist, the, the aquarium, and all the big park area that I want to go and see. Valencia, California. No, this is Valencia, España. Valencia, España. Who's that saying hi, everyone? Is that Declan? It was. I thought I recognised your thing. Okay. okay, gracias. ¿Cuánto es? Es eh, uno ochenta. Uno Okay, gracias. Okay. 180. That's not bad for a seafront coffee. There we go. 1 euro 80. Oh, you, 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 you understand the numbers, yeah. I mean, I, how much is a coffee in the UK? In a normal shop. How warm, 21 in the shade and 24 in the sun it was, but it feels warmer. I'm starting to melt now. Really, I'm not joking. Hang on, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have a sugar in it, just in case. I don't normally have sugar in me Nescafe, but... I'm not sure what coffee it is, so... Uh, I always put a sugar in, just to... I should have tried it first, but... Some coffees are nice, but some just need a bit of sweetening. <laughs> Tried to make a little pattern in the top now, let's turn it. <laughs> so. Oh, Cherish, yeah. I can't read some of the things. 350 for cost of endowment. All oh, right. Rip off Britain, yeah. There you go. If you want to know if it's cheap, you can sit here in the sun and have it, have it right on the seafront. One euro eighty for a coffee. I know it's not a big coffee, but uh, I'm just going back to see if I could miss any thing. Cost of coffee, yeah. You need to be back. Oh yeah, Craig. Craig's here. He's coming um, 27th, I think it is. He said. I can't, I'm struggling to read this screen. I'm tapping and then so knock yourself out. All oh, right. Don't knock yourself out. You're gonna knock yourself out, uh, Leslie. But, uh, yeah. Look at it out through there.
English speakers to find work. Yes, um, I don't have a better website. There, well, there's jobs, jobs in Spain, um, and then type in Benidorm. Uh, there's a Facebook page with them on as well. Oh, they're Ron from the USA. Cheers, everybody. Badge. Badge. What's up, my own? I'm missing that. Let's go back. Oh, right. I see what that is now. Yeah, thank you. Temperature 21 in the shade, 24 in the sun. Do they have English reps working here? Yes, uh, they got special dispensation, the reps, though. I don't know how that works. You could possibly get a job with Jet2 and TUI and all. Because we do have them here. I did a apply to become one but uh, I couldn't uh, I think I was too old for him they didn't want an old guy like me doing it I suppose you know they don't realize that uh, when you live here even if you're 62 you're like an 18 year old or I am I act like an 18 year old sometimes I act like a younger than that sometimes to be honest but uh, I'm never going to grow up. I'm Peter Pan, living in Benidorm. So I'll drink this coffee and then I'll head back to see Nazi, have something to eat and then get ready for work. But at the moment I do feel like a tourist. Well, nearly. If I have me shorts on. Does that promenade go all the way along the beach? Yes, it does. The whole distance. Then you've got another beach which is longer and it does the same. Well, that guy must come and sat next to me, drink his beer, and he's off. Yep, 21 in the shade, 24 at least, at least, in the sun. Steve. Oh, Steve's in. Hi there. As you can see, it's, uh, you know, I don't really need to say how hot it is. As you can see that it's beach weather. The amount of people here. He booked Alicante for February. All right. Yeah, for Alicante's only just down there. Um, right across there. Look. So it's not going to be much different weather-wise. We can see it there. So, uh, you know, down there, look, that hump. That hump you can see there, that's, uh, that's Alicante. So it's within sight. So it's going to be similar weather. You're coming Boxing Day. Most, well, not everything's going to be open. But how much do you need open? It looks like Beachcomber and uh, Cafe B, Morgan's, The Crown, um, The Rose and Crown. Uh, the Western Saloon, the Hotel California, Tiki City, uh, Red Lion, Red Lion 2. I mean, they're all open. Stardust is closed until March. You know, all of those places are open, but, you know, you're probably, you're probably, there's too many open for you to go and see all of them unless you're, you're on a real pub crawl and a bender and you can drink loads. But uh, you know, there's more than enough. The top acts will be playing, so you know you ain't gonna worry about how much is closed because there's not enough people here to fill it all up. But what is open is good, and there's plenty of it. So you know, I've said you don't need everything open to enjoy it here. You just need the main ones, and that's what they keep open. You've got all the kebab shops open 24 hours a day. The Indians, some of the Indians are open 24 hours a day. Mariano's open 24 hours a day. You can get, you know, you can go at any time, day or night in Benidorm and have fun. All year round. It is beautiful. Um, Helen Cook, who's here. 
She's staying in the um, Calypso. I think it's a Calypso. She's uh, she's she put a video on her page. She's gone down to Alicante on the train today. Six euros forty return per person. It goes along the coast there. She got the bus up to the train. Oops, really knocked me cut over there. Must be cut finish. There's Nancy's gift. Nancy likes these. I'm not lover of these. Speculos, so Nancy will be eating that one. But yeah, she's she's going on the train down to Alicante. Takes about 45 minutes to an hour, and you get beautiful views, you know. It goes along the coast. It's worth going just to go on the tram down there and back. That's as far as it goes. So you go to the last station and you come up right in the centre of Alicante. You can walk along the shops. It's easy to get to Benny from Alicante, yeah. And it's easy to get to, to Alicante from Benny as well. Ooh, there's somebody out there swimming. Actually, all the way in, look. Uh, where are we to? Do you know what? I cannot see the screen very well. I think there's somebody, I saw somebody out there. I'm in the gap or somewhere, I can't see it on the screen. Where they are, must be there somewhere, is it? They ain't gone under. What's that dipped? Oh, they're lovely dipped in latte. All right. I'll have to try that. Merry Christmas. Who's that? James. Hi there, James. I haven't seen my brother on, actually. When he said hi, bro, I thought it might have been my brother, but uh, I haven't seen him for a little while. Hi there. Who said that? Oh, Angela and Andy. Hi there. I've got to click on your name to see it. Because I, it's, the sun is so bright here that uh, I can't see best way to the airport well I've there's a my neighbor does the the transfers he's the he's he does that's all he does is transfers to and fro the airport he's uh, he's not got a license to um, to do local travel but he's only he's got a license to go to and fro the airport and that's it yeah and you everybody have a great Christmas everybody else who's wish me happy Christmas uh, all the same to you as well, and have a fabulous new year. Hopefully, we'll see you here. If you're not, if you, if we've not seen you yet, hopefully you'll come along and say hello. He's been over once. He's going to come over again. He was, but he did say he was looking at um, somewhere like uh, the Bahamas or something. I think he's he likes to travel a bit as well. So he's still working in the same job where I used to work. So. Uh, yeah, good. I'm glad you'll you'll say it. you'll you will. Several police around, so there's going to be no P man out at the moment. Where is this? This is Benidorm, Spain. That's where it is. This is just one of the beaches. This is the second largest. Goes all the way up to those hotels up there in the middle. You can see. And then uh, there's another beach, two beaches after that. There's one bigger than this, which is Poniente. You'll be there 23rd of January, staying at Luxmar, right near where I am then. Who's that, Barry? All right, that's near where I live. No, I shall keep going, it's all right, all right Callum. I shall try and keep going, don't worry. It's just that when you get banned for silly reasons, like showing a bit of meat or showing a bit of TV, football, live on the TV. You think, you know, what's it all about when you see some of the stuff that is on TikTok and you think, how, do, how, don't, how don't they get banned? You know, I'm not showing anything bad and yet, uh, you know, it's crazy. TikTok need to get their customer services act together. They really do. It would be, it would be, brilliant app you know there'd be no trouble if they got their act together and the trouble is I think most of the people that go reporting are people that just make a new account and go on a report I think you know I've, I've sort of said 
and I've sent them many times. I said, if you know, if you allow people to report, they should have at least a thousand views. You know, they should be people that go live themselves or are able to go live because they realise how, how how difficult it is to get to that one thousand views. You know, they realise it wouldn't be people who took all that trouble and time to get to go live making somebody else's life misery. They do spoil it, yeah, that's that's the only thing, and I don't understand why TikTok have not um, addressed that problem yet. You know, I don't understand. They just need a better customer service. They're making so much money, they can afford to, to pay humans to run the, the customer support, surely. You just got home, miss it already, yeah. Who's that? Oh, Kate. We might, we might, Marion is, I don't know if she's still here or not, she was staying in the two sleep, she's been ill and not been around as much to see me, so she wants, she asked me if she could go live with me later, so I've said okay, so, oh Nancy's there, yeah it is a big problem, oh Nancy, to no porque, she's sending me a rose, porque me amor. Everybody give Nancy a follow. I don't know if she's, how many she's got, actually. She wants to go live. I mean, well, you, you know what she's like when she's live. Well, when, when I go around live. So if you want to see Nancy live, and I'm, I'm not going to be in charge of what she does, it'll be crazy stuff, so make sure you give her a follow, see if we can get her to a 1,000. Nancy Hernandez. I'm just trying to see how many she got there. Say something, Nancy. I want to. I want to click on you so I can see how many has she got. I can't find her. I was going to try and click on her name. Ah, oh, there she is. She got six hundred and fifteen. So she's only. She doesn't need too many more. If everybody on here gave her a follow, that would be nearly eight. Well, coming on towards seven hundred. So. Give Nancy, my wife, a follow, and then we'll see. She'll go crazy. I know she will. She needs 200 more. All oh, right. You know, if you want to help out, we haven't got quite 200. I might, I might actually shut the live down and go live again for a few minutes just to see if I can get bring a few more on. So make sure that you're all following me now, everybody that wants to see, because in a few minutes I will just shut the live off and restart it just to re reboot it again. So uh, make sure you're all following, and uh, I'll I'll give you I'll give you a few minutes because I know the chat takes a long time to come up. So if you want to continue this live with me, make sure that you're following, and I'll, I'll reboot it, and uh, we'll see if we can boost it up again. So uh, how hot? 24 at least at least 24. Although now that sun is going down, there's like a little bit of high cloud there. So it, well, I thought it was, it's coming through again. I, it did just start to feel like some of the heat was going, but it's back again. Right, everybody, uh, make sure you're following. I'm going to shut the live off, and I'll restart it again, so I'll be right back. So make sure you've clicked the bell so you know when I'm on live as well. I'll be going live again later on the way to work. It may be a bit bumpy, because I'll be on riding on that one, so... Well, I mean, for Christmas, we're, 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 this is basically Christmas, isn't it? It's going to be hotter tomorrow, they said. So it's, we're basically at Christmas. You know, it's not going to suddenly drop, you know, to what you think Christmas is like in the UK. It's not going to do that. Oh, that's a special cart there, look. Look at that one. He's got like a trailer on the back. She's sitting there like, uh, like Lady... Uh, yeah, that one's got a trailer on the back. <laughs> Different. Right. So, right, I'll see you in a few seconds. Hi, Craig. I'm going to be right back, so make sure you're all following. I'm going to click the button off, and we'll be back in a minute. We're on 144. Let's see if we can get it over 200 again. See you in a few seconds. <laughs> 